Hey everybody and welcome back to another unboxing. This will hopefully be the first of many in the Star Trek Mission Crate series from Loot Crate. This was very late, uh, but there were a lot of delays. But I finally got it in and look how awesome this freaking box is. The first one is a shuttlecraft from the original series, the Galileo. I think these are type 7? Type F? I can't remember. My TOS knowledge isn't so great at the moment. Um, I like the giant styrofoam boulders that they used. God damn it. <laughs> I was waiting for how long, like, I was wondering how long it would take for you to mention the styrofoam boulders. <laughs> that the the uh, front here. The space marbles. Every planet they visit, it's like, there's a red marble. <laughs> There's a blue marble. Oh look, it's a green marble. Like, did they just like hang marbles from strings and like film them? They're like, hey, we need a planet. Oh look, my kid left his toys out. Let's just use these. It was the 60s. Let it go. No. <laughs> so here's the front of the box. AKA shuttle. The other side, you got the back, you even got the detail of the back. Which is pretty neat. Danger, do not open well in operation. That's funny. <laughs> if the shuttle's like in flight, how the hell are you gonna get out there and open it? <laughs> it's like, oh no, the shuttle's not working. Maybe I should get out and push? Space suit? <laughs> Alright. This is an awesome box. Let's hope that the stuff inside is equally as awesome. My lovely wife is going to cut, cut the, the tape. No, she's gonna cut the tape. <laughs> Please. Just the tape. <laughs> All right. All of a sudden, like, something starts leaking. Yeah, bleeding green, oh no. <laughs> there was a Vulcan inside. That would suck. <laughs> okay, so. Looks like the shirt's right at the front. So we're gonna look at that last. Now the downside with this box is that the shirts are uh, 3X max. So not going to fit me which pisses me off because I love Star Trek. But hey, maybe I'll lose enough weight to wear them. Let's open this up and see what we got. Ooh. Star Trek stuff. Well, no sh <laughs> Do you see that look cutest? Yes. That's pretty neat. Because I both have eyes and can read. Yes. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my god. That'll help, wife. That'll help. Ooh. Okay. I am a big fan of this. That is pretty neat. We're still unpacking over here slowly but surely so I don't have my little spinny thingy. Maybe we'll take it out later. <laughs> Maybe my wife will take it out later. What do you mean my wife? I'm going back to bed. Maybe I'll take it out later. <laughs> Alright, cool. We gotta get up early tomorrow, dude. I know, I know. And what do we got here? What's that Ooh, Star Trek Online exclusive. I'm gonna cover up the code because I play Star Trek Online religiously. Owners of this flyer can redeem the key below to claim the Federation starter pack in the Star Trek Online PC only. The pack contains a tier 1 ship, ground and space gear, an exclusive loot crate, emote, and more. Interesting. I may already have this, but we'll see. Cool. Oh, that's actually kind of cool, even though I'm not the biggest fan of this show right now. Yeah, I much prefer Star Trek Orville. Yeah, Star Trek Orville is much better than Star Trek Discovery. <laughs> but this is still pretty awesome. I wasn't expecting one of these right away. I am a little annoyed that it doesn't have a rank on it. That's okay. At least it's a, a command badge. 
It's pretty neat. Discovery's slowly growing on me. I mean, the last few episodes were really good. I have a bunch of reviews. Go check them out. You know what else grows slowly? Fungus. Yes, fungus, which is very topical when it comes to that show. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Now I've got a Discovery Com badge. Or, sorry, badge, because they don't have Com badges yet. Nope, they got flip phones. They got flip phones. Nokia. I don't want to see what this is just yet. So I'm just going to put that right there. What, what is this? What is this? Oh, cool. It's a board cube resistances futile sticker. Neat. Also, let's uh, appreciate the inside of this box right now. Because uh, it is the inside of a Galileo sh of the Galileo shuttlecraft. You are totally going to be playing with your little Spock figurine with this later. I, I guarantee it. I mean, pro <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, let's see what we does got. Does he have here. like a, a tricorder or something that he came with? Or? He does. Yeah. He does. <laughs> Ooh, another Enterprise for my collection of Enterprises. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, wife, you're gonna have to open up that one because that looks pretty cool. <laughs> Gotta play with your toys right away. Sleep is for the weak. Now we got these set up. Check it out. We've got the Locutus figure, which looks pretty goddamn fantastic, if you, you ask me. We've established that it's Locutus of Borg, not uh, Locutus of Norfolk County. Not yeah. so easy to get the two of them confused. Very easy. <laughs> and we got the Enterprise here on a stand, and this is actually pretty fantastic. Looking Enterprise. Um, I also have uh, Eagle Moss videos that I review on this website, and on this, sorry, on, the, on our YouTube channel. And uh, I mean, this isn't this doesn't have the kind of detail that those ships do, but this is still pretty goddamn nice. And it's one of those magnetic ones, so I can just eh, do that and take it out. Oh, it's the Enterprise. Ooh. Pew, 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 pew. The Enterprise doesn't go pew pew. Can it shoot the rainbow? No, it can't shoot the rainbow. Only your ship on Star Trek Online can shoot the rainbow. Yep. My little Cardi ship shoots the rainbow. All right, so this is all pretty cool. Let's check out the uh, the shirt. And here we are. There's the t-shirt, which is pretty damn cool. It's got the Enterprise D in this Borg cube pattern in the background. I have a feeling that this uh, box was Borg themed uh, for the most part. It's fairly Locutus themed. Locutus themed, yeah. Yeah, Locutus themed. Well, there's only one Locutus item. Well, he's still Picard. That's true. He was captain of the Enterprise D. This is, yes. Even I know this. I obviously know <laughs> this. Don't, don't make me get my inner Trekkie out. Yeah, just, just leave your inner Trekkie where he is playing with his toys. God damn it. <laughs> Anyways, awesome shirt. I'm very happy. I need to lose weight so I can wear it. I mean, there are... Motivation! There are other really good reasons for me to lose weight. <laughs> Uh, but I would like to wear this shirt, so. So, this was actually pretty awesome. I enjoyed everything that came in this box. I have a feeling that this is going to be one of those uh, things that I'm going to be constantly, constantly, constantly giving a 5 out of 5. Um, but who knows? Who freaking knows? I mean, if I get a single JJ thing in here, oh, I'm going to be so pissed. So that's... Keep in mind, other people do like JJ track. Yeah, those people have their opinion. I have mine. I don't want JJ crap. So this is all pretty freaking cool stuff. I don't have a problem with any of this, even Discovery. So here's uh, a pad. Haha, <laughs> I've always wanted one of these. So I got, I got a pad here, and it's a little recap of everything we got in here. And my wife just pointed out, and this does make sense, uh, when you signed up for Mission Crate, you had the option of, of medical, science, uh, engineering, and command. I chose the command crate. I didn't know what that would mean. I guess that meant uh, we got a command badge, which makes perfect sense. 
So I don't know. Means all further boxes are going to be command themed well, when given that option. Well, that's what I was going to say. Like, I don't know if this is going to carry over, if that choice of mine is going to carry over to other boxes, or if it was just purely for the first box. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. So. I personally would go with science, but that's me. Yeah, yeah I, you have more fun as the captain. I'll definitely be the captain. <laughs> You can He's be a science. science officer. You get to like dissect alien species and crap. You're a captain. You get to say fire the <laughs> torpedoes. <laughs> but tweeches. So, that's it for this crate. I'm very very happy with this. Um, so far, worth the money and worth the wait. Honestly, I can't wait to see the second one, uh, which I believe we'll be getting. Uh, now, Two forgive. Weeks from now. <laughs> Forgive me, <laughs> forgive me if I'm wrong, uh, because uh, this was originally supposed to come out in December, then they held it back to January, then they held it back to February. I honestly do not know what the official delivery date of this was supposed to be now. Uh, so it should be not next month, but the month after, unless it, this was supposed to be out in February and not March, which means next month we might be getting the next crate. Now that everyone's thoroughly I'm confused. so <laughs> confused right now. So yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, all right, let's rate this. Um, I am a huge Uber Trekkie. I think I've established this really? with my with my content uh, and say. my comments. I'm going to give this a very unbiased 5 out of 5. And I mean that. Everything in here I like. And like I said before, Discovery isn't... 100% my cup of tea yet, but this was really awesome. I like this. This is cool. Um, so yeah, five out of five. Now my wife, who is not the biggest Trekkie on the planet, not even a Trekkie, but does enjoy it. I find the original series extremely hilarious. She, she does. <laughs> Despite what she says jokingly, she does like the show, just not as much as I do. Uh, but I value her opinion, and I'm curious, what do you think of this uh, 5 out of 5? <laughs> what do you think of this out of 5? I'm biased, my ass. <laughs> what do you think of this 5 out of 5 box? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think of this 5 out of 5 box? Objection, leading the witness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of Star Trek stuff in it. Well, yes, it's <laughs> a Star Trek box. Um, none of which I will probably ever <laughs> see again. You'll be too busy playing with. Yes, that is also <laughs> true. And yeah, there's uh, another Enterprise to go with all of the other Enterprises, which all look exactly the same. Well, you're right, because I have like six Enterprise Ds, and they're exactly the same. You're right. So you need six six models to, that are exactly the I same. I don't need <laughs> them, but I have them. That's just how things work out. <laughs> Huh. I didn't know they were going to give me this Enterprise. I, I didn't know that. There's no way for me to know that. Well, you finally have your Locutus figurine, which Locutus would probably be the uh, the one person that you might ever actually leave me for. No. <laughs> I would not. Patrick Stewart? Well, Patrick Stewart, then, yes. Maybe. <laughs> but not, no, yeah, I would not leave got, you. Gotta keep you on a short leash at, at uh, conventions, that, that's for sure. Do not believe a word she said. <laughs> I mean, um, if it was seven and nine, no. Uh... No, no, I'm pretty sure you'd leave me for uh, for Sir Stewart. <laughs> God damn Which, it. Hey, that would be totally cool because I would then go and hang out with Gandalf and we could all be besties because that would just be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I'd give this a five out of five in, in the scale of shit my husband likes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I figured you would base it off of your like of Star Trek. I just don't care. She does not care. <laughs> All right, well, that's her rating, five out of five. I wasn't expecting that. Um, but okay, five out of five, guys. So this is a great crate. If you're into Star Trek and you want cool Star Trek stuff, look at all this stuff. You can have this for not a low, low price twice a month. Um... Yeah. To be honest, you can't have this exact stuff because this is his. That's true. You could this is get mine. your own box, but not this box because this box has already been sold. Yes, that is true. You would then get the next crate. Yeah. 
but not this stuff. It's what, what, what she said. <laughs> so if you're interested, uh, this is not a promo or an ad or anything, but there is a link in my description, um, a referral link. If you're interested in starting a Loot Crate subscription uh, or a Star Trek Mission Crate subscription or a whatever subscription from Loot Crate, uh, please do with that link. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. All right, everybody, uh, that is it. Uh, keep an eye out for other unboxing videos. I have a backlog of unboxing videos going all the way back to like November. Um, so uh, those will be coming out very soon. And uh, keep an eye out for my other Star Trek Discovery reviews. I have fallen behind, I know. I got five more episodes to cover. I've technically recorded most of them. I just haven't recorded the final episode. And then I still got to edit all five of those. So they're going to come... I promise, but they're going to come late. We moved. The computer was in boxes. Basically. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't followed me on social media yet, please do. Uh, links are in the description. Um, I update them fairly regularly, I think. Uh, and, uh, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. And if you like my content and want to see more of it, Click on that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell notification button so you'll be notified when I upload new stuff. And as always, please check out my other content and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Alright everybody, have a good one and live long and prosper. Keep on futilely resisting the Borg. That's good advice. Generally. <laughs>